If you guys are looking to get away during COVID to somewhere near and safe, Catalina Island should be on your places to visit now list. Why? Simply because it's the closest thing to paradise. Guys, happy Thursday. I'm with my dog. And we're headed to Catalina. Such a beautiful day. I'm so excited. Yeah, I can't wait. Today, I will be sharing with you a two-day full itinerary of things to do and places to eat. So if you're wondering what this beautiful island has to offer, keep watching. You can get to Catalina Island by boat or by helicopter. For this trip, we got there via boat using the Catalina Express. The boat takes an hour each way and costs $74.50 round trip. Keep in mind that social distancing is advised and you must bring and wear a mask at all times. We stayed at the Hotel Atwater, which is centrally located in the heart of Avalon. The hotel has been around since 1920, but just recently renovated with a fresh design and modern amenities. very smart they know we only feed them in the two spots they'll only follow us for a few seconds here then they're gonna turn around kind of head home this 45 minute undersea expedition gives you the full experience of snorkeling or scuba diving in the safety of the submarine during this tour you get to see a variety of plant and animal life when visiting Catalina Island you must stop by their Descanso Beach Club we came here for lunch right after and enjoyed a variety of dishes from their menu Now, if you really want to explore more of this beautiful island, I recommend going on a hike. That evening, we did the Catalina Chimes Tower Trail, which was super scenic. That night, we continued exploring the town on a hunt for some dinner. We ended up at an Italian restaurant called Antonio's where we shared a delicious meal and some vino. I recommend ordering their house special spaghetti. Happy Friday guys! It is day two of being in Catalina! We're leaving tonight, um, so we have the full day, but I'm about to shoot this amazing look downstairs in the hotel. After my shoot, we grabbed quick breakfast downstairs at the Bistro at the Atwater, which is just next door. So we finally left the hotel and we're headed to our first hotel, I mean tour of the day. And we're doing our first and that's it. A lot of islands. We'll go to places a lot of locals never get to. If you are up for an adventurous ride during your stay in Catalina, I highly recommend this expedition. Think Safari Vibes. During this three-hour journey, you get to see the famous bison as well as take in the gorgeous scenic views of the island. It's um that was built by a retired it's the oldest one in the city. Built by a retired sea captain by himself. 
with the help of a uh, um done with the bison expedition tour and it was such an amazing tour i totally recommend it we're back at the hotel and we are renting bikes from them that's one cool fact about the outwater is you can rent bikes and yeah it's just a fun way to explore catalina perfect during our bike ride, we ended up finding this secluded beach which had no service, so I can't really tell you where it is. We ended our trip with some refreshing ice cream at a place called Scoops. Highly recommend. And that wraps my two-day trip guys. It was seriously such a blast and a much needed quick getaway, especially during times like this. So until next time, thank you all again for following along on my journey. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like button and I'll see you guys soon.